Hey everybody, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails, and today we're going to have a playthrough review of, well, as you can see, Planet Zoo Oshana Pack. It is a DLC, which was uh, very kindly gifted from Frontier Developments. Um, I've bought every other DLC and the base game myself, but to make this a fair review, or play game thing, I've disabled all the other DLC, so we've got the base game, and we just have the Oshana pack, which has very recently been released. So let's get over into it. And what we're going to do, I love playing Sandbox, absolutely adore it. I don't like uh, money restraints and stuff like that, so it's a very simple way and relaxing way of playing this game. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Sandbox mode. And since it is the Oshana pack, I always think Australia which will be around here somewhere. There it is. Over there. You can either use this map over here to select where we want to start our zoo, or this little area over here. So, desert, I guess. Oshana. Oh, no, that, that. Is it over there? I thought it was Australia. I'm so confused. Anyway, I think we'll just go to Australia anyway. Go back out of that. Uh, Oops, wrong way. Ooh. Australia. I'm just going to do it in Australia anyway. There we go. Still goes there. Maybe it's just the map. It's fine. It's all good. Easy. I like easy. That's right. O C. Anna. Zoo. There we go. A good name. Simple name. But I will just modify my settings very slightly. That I always like daylight. It does go night and dark and all of that. Ooh. There we are. Okay. This is our entrance way. So I'll just do my settings. Uh, settings. Sandbox. I have default settings, so I don't have to modify the uh, the enclosures that much. You know, animals still age, they give birth, but there's no stress and there's no fighting and stuff like that. And with this Oceana pack, we have five new animals. Um, it won't let me bring them up yet because I don't have the buildings, but we have the North Island Brown Kiwi, Tasmanian Devil, the Little Penguin, Krakoa, I think that's how you say it, it's like this little marsupial thing, it's always a happy little thing. They're absolutely amazing and then as an exhibit animal like a, a walkthrough exhibit where you can put your in your zoo and people can walk through the spectacled flying fox so we're just going to, have to start building the zoo as long as we have our staff buildings we can then start adding animals so facilities make sure Well, paths. We need paths first. Try and match this one over here, I think. Which one is it? It's a pattern. That one? Nope, not that one. That one. The mosaic path. We're going to align to grid so it's nice and straight. So I think we should have like a uh, an enclosure in the middle. We're going to focus on the, the five new animals and birds. Um, so we're going to have one in the middle. I like decent sized paths so people don't get um, congested. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make it bigger. Oops, come on. I always like my path nice and nearly spoke English then. I always like my paths nice and straight. You can make them curved, you can make them go up, down, you can have stairways. 
I like it very clean cut. Whoops. So we're going to have one exhibit in the middle. We can make it look pretty as well, so that's not an issue. I think coming off here we should have more paths which will lead on to, in future, the other exhibits. So here, I'm actually going to have a transparent barrier, I think. What should we get, what should we put in it, I think? Um, maybe the penguin. I'll have to think about this a bit better. So I'll need some facilities first, the staff. Need a keeper hut. Um, these are the new ones. One there. Quarantine. I'm gonna just build another path just for the uh, the staff, which will come off round the back. Do the align to grid thing again. And this just means I can keep all the, the staff areas together. Uh, back to facilities. Quarantine! No shanna small. Surgery! Um Oshana, where are you? There we are. Pretty beachy. Go for a large staff room because we're going to have a lot of staff eventually. More of a path as well. That's what I mean with the curved paths. I don't really like the curved of my zoos, but everybody's different. Um, facilities. We've got the staff room. Need a research centre. Go for a small one of those. Go. Small workshop. Turn everything around. And a trade centre. The trade centre is most important because you won't be able to get any animals otherwise. Oops. Uh, there we go. Okay. So, now we can actually have a look at the animals. Uh, animal trading. These are the ones what I've had before. It's any species. I mean, all these animals here are from the base game and from only the Oceana pack. So we're going to... Oh, I've got a, a mod as well. So I've got some Aquatech horses. I forgot about that. Anyway, um, so yeah, you won't have that in the game normally. Uh, where are we? So I'm looking for the five new animals. We've got the North Island Brown Kiwi, Tasmanian Devil, Kiwi, the Little Penguin, Krakoa, that one. And the spectacle flying fox. You won't find it in this list because it's in the ex it, it, there English in the exhibit. There we go. So I'm thinking. Oh, what are you? Oh, we have to get that one. It's a leucistic. I think that's how you call it. It's like a rare coloured. Let's call it that. We'll adopt that anyway, and we'll adopt one of the females. We'll wait actually because they've not got very good stats um okay so we're gonna go go for the penguin anyway go for him go for meh i know that one's old and that one wasn't very good but we'll go for both of them so we have them in our trade area we will get some employees before i forget three caretakers Uh, a couple of keepers to start with. 
a couple of mechanics. Security. And yes, you can see them chasing criminals around your zoo if they do turn up. I didn't actually need those vendors, but we've got them anyway. They're spares. Couple of vets. And maybe three educators. Educators will go around informing your guests about the animals. You can also set up like a show area. Where they'll give uh, talks, animal talks. Which we will get to. I now need to build a barrier. I think the small penguins will go in the middle. I'm going to stick to this invisible barrier. And it will make sense. The animals can't get out. Move that over. Back we go. Join it up, and now we need a gate. Put it on this side, because that's where the staff room is. And the keeper hut. Maybe I'll move it, actually. I'll move it over here. Maybe use a smaller one. I plan on having a slope into this enclosure. Go to terrain. Make it a bit bigger. And a little bit deeper. We've got like a deep end over here. Very deep end. We can also have a ramp. This wasn't added that long ago. And it is very useful for smooth slopes. There we go. That'll do. Um, da -da -da -da. Water. Penguins need water. There we go. It's very square, very blocky, but we can work on that. What I do need to do is set up the work zones. I typically just do it very easy, have one work zone for the entire zoo, because my zoo are not very big. So I can just select them all, like that, and it's done. And then all these unassigned staff can be assigned to that new area. They really know where they're going to be working. But if you've got a big zoo, you can like have a big cat area, or an elephant area. You can have specific uh, staff for each different area, you know. You can also change your uniforms if you want and stuff like that. But no, we're going to keep it standard. So what do penguins eat? Little penguins. Tag it in. If you type in the animal, it'll give you suggestions of what, you know, will go with them. So we need a feeder. Underwater fish feeder. I'm going to go with a burrow. If I can find a safe spot for it, right there. Slow feeder, sprinkler, um, water jet, get rid of that menu. I think that'll do for now. Very simple, but it works. Um, now, where are our penguins? There they are. Now, what you're meant to do is send them to quarantine. So they get vet checked. Make sure they're okay. It says relocating to quarantine. And we'll get a little message at the top saying, it's all okay, they've passed or someone was sick and they'll, they'll sort it out and let us know when we can actually put it into the exhibit. You can put it in without quarantining, but there is a risk that the animal will be sick. And it could pass it on to other animals. Which is interesting. It's, you know, realistic. What I'm going to do is go to facilities again. So we've got guests as well. We're going to have to look after the guests. First thing I always do is put a donation box in. Or multiple, I should say. People like to donate to help the animals. I'm going to put some benches in. I found the Oshana ones. That's picnic bench. There we go. A few of these in. 
We only smell zoo, so we're not going to need that many. And um, we will need like drink and food stalls. Also, ATMs. ATMs are very useful. I think I'll put them over here. In the wrong place. That's always good. And now, I'm going to have to think of a way for all the food areas to go. And shopping and things like that. But I'm thinking, you say I'm changing the floor. I'm going to have a big area for seating. I'm going to eat the food. And then coming off it, we're going to have all these different shops. Not sure how many we need, but let's try it. Um, drink stalls. I'm going to go with a coffee. Just water, I think, there. Uh, chief beef. Beef burgers. And a Missy Good, I think. Missy Good. I'm going to go for Looney Balloon Shopping. This is a balloon stall. And hopefully, just a memento, which is another souvenir shop, and then an information booth. Now they look really quite ugly, these shops. So there are stalls, of, uh, like shelves available, sorry. Um, where are we? There we go. Turn them around. And it just goes over the front and it makes it look pretty. There we go. Just gonna do that for all of them. I'm not too bothered about the decorations overlapping. Can always change it later. Guests are already arriving, even though there's no animals on display. And they need a toilet. They do need a toilet. Um, I think we'll put it here. Now, since we've added new buildings, which come with vendors as well, we need to add them to the work zone. All the red ones. There we go. There may be some staff which don't have a job. No, there isn't. We're all good. If we want to... Grab the animals, which are the penguins. If we can find them. Gone to the wrong place. There we are. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Move. Go there. And they won't escape. I've turned that off temporarily. And we're just going to wait a minute. For them to be delivered.
And there we go, we have our three penguins safely delivered. Going for a swim straight away by the look of it. It's a daddy! So I think we should add some plants. Not sure which though. I mean, penguins are only small, aren't they? They're a tropical penguin as well. Um, hmm. Hey, some lotuses. Let's do that. Now, align them to water so they float on the surface. Hopefully. There we are. Probably not right for the animal, but... It's a sandbox, we're good. There they are swimming. If you click on them, you can actually follow them around as well. I always think that. There, English. I always think that's really cool how they do that. And recently they've added a viewing dome as well. This one here, visitor viewing dome. Visitors will go in and then they'll be able to see the animals. Um, select it. No dome. Let's go get a dome. Can you place it in the water? No. There's got to be enough space somewhere. Come on. I will find space. Hold on. It's a weird shaped exhibit, this one, so it doesn't really make it easy. It's a bit narrow. Move things around a little bit. See if we can place it down. No, you're not letting me. Uh, oh well. We'll do it on the next one. Where's my uh, path gone? Oh no! Wrong one. Hold on. There we are. Fixed. So good. We can find some bushes. I think we need some bushes. Big tree. I think a big tree will work as well. Bramble bushes! We like bramble bushes. That one over there. That'll do for now. We have our little penguins. The zookeeper's going in to check on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think next we'll go for the Tasmanian Devil. Go down here. More pathways. Oops. Doesn't like going there, does it? That's fine. Do. can build one in the middle here anyway which I think the customers will like I 
I know what we'll do. We'll get rid of this. And build it out over here. There we go. I'm going to copy some of these donation boxes from over here. That'll do. Oops. I'm going to move one of these ATM machines. And put it there. I'm going to use a barrier this time. I think... Oh, I don't know which one. Let's use a... It's a steel mesh one. Let's use that. Every fence type has got a different sound as well. And I really like that. I've got my angle snap. Turn it off. There we go. Whoops. Come back. We're getting there. There we go. Keep going. And over here. Grab a gate. I think put it over here. Possibly. There we go. I'm going to have to put that into the work zone. Like so. That essentially means that the, the staff know what enclosures and buildings to go to and that did just say high amounts of litter because we don't have any trash cans that's one thing we will add that's on the facilities um get rid of the, that right that there we go ocean trash cans we'll put a few of these about makes our handyman's job a, a bit easier and it stops and throwing as much rubbish on the floor because it's not very good is it there we go Tasmanian devil got that kiwi still we're going to need another kiwi we're going to need these as well a little quicker animals oops that's very bad stats but we're all good it's okay penguins and the tasmanian devils we'll go for you and we'll go for you so we've got a boy and a girl we'll send these two to the quarantine habitat we're gonna tasmanian Just type that in it gives us a a good idea as to what animals amenities and enrichment items they can have food tray these have got a burrow like the penguins yeah rubbing pad and a pumpkin shelter as well that'll be a small bed there we go I'm going to change the terrain slightly we can add a water source you can put a water bowl instead but I just prefer to do this so over time we can like add foliage to the exhibits as well decorations speed up time
going to check on our animals. There we go. They've arrived in the zoo. Ah, so that one's at the vet currently. So he was sick when he arrived. Now they're back in quarantine. We can plop them in here. And here they come. There's our little Tasmanian devils. I mean, they've got food, they've got water, they've got shelter. They also have a burrow. With these burrows, you can link up um, underground cameras to screens. So I think we'll do that. Over here, I believe. Get an education board. It'll make sense in a second. Um, turn on a line to surface. There we go. And now, what we can do here, select it. Get a video, Animal Burrow 2, which is our Tasmanian Devil one. You can rename it as well. So that'll be a video of this burrow here. I will add the exhibit information signs, like one there, and one there. This is the little penguin exhibit, and this one, the oops, Tasmanian Devil. Exhibit, almost. There we go. This sign here. This is like information on the animal. For the guests to learn a little bit. Little penguin. And before I mentioned the viewing domes. Try again. The other enclosure wasn't big enough to accommodate it. Put it there. There we go. That's all it is. But well, people, your visitors, will go through this tunnel and they'll come out here. So we'll just watch that for a little bit. Speed it up. And there we go, we do have people in there looking out at the animals. Which is a really nice feature. Very nice feature. I do like that. We have two! It's kind of cool. We're going to make it look pretty in the future. So, yeah, that has been, you know, a quick gameplay review of the new DLC from Frontier Developments of Planet Zoo, the Oceana pack, o Oceana, I'll, I'll say it correctly at one point, but it is an absolutely amazing game, it's really relaxing, I love it to bits, I, you know, always love this game, and there are no limits, you can build whatever you want, wherever you want, and however you want, and you can play it however you want as well, so hopefully, I'm I will be doing another video on this and we'll get more exhibits going, we'll make them look nice and pretty. So yeah, thank you for watching, I've been Vicky from Tales from the Trails, all the best and happy trails out there.